Welcome to Speaker Lab Tutorial. This tutorial shows you the creation procedure of a horn design with Hornella and opens the project with your CAD software. When we launch software, in the interface overview, we can see three main sections the menu bar, the tab control, and shared variables box. In the menu bar, file, we can open a saved project from database. Edit, we can cut, copy, and paste data from and to clipboard. In horn type, we can select different horn profiles. The default expansion is Hypex family, we can change flare constant, to change hyperbolic expansions. In this case, we have flare constant, equal to 1, and an exponential profile. For values, higher than 1, we have hyperbolic sign, and conic profiles. For flare constant lower than 1, we have hyperbolic cosine. For flare constant equals to 0, we have catenoid. Other expansions are tactrix, spherical, spherical closed. And wave guides. With this profile, we have possibility to modify the wave guide coverage angle. Now, we want to design a pure exponential horn profile. In 3D plot menu, we can change the 3D plot full angle, half, or quarter geometry. This is useful, for example, to limit total points number, to decrease process calculation, and reducing exporting file size. Total points number depends also by samples on x axis. And y axis. In circular horn tab, sample y is disabled. This control is enabled on elliptic horn tab. With X and Y points number, we can increase precision. In solid radiation angle, we can select horn placement in free air, floor, against a wall, or in a corner. In the delimiter menu, we can save data separated by tab, comma, dot, space or a custom delimiter. With possibility to introduce a custom character. This selection, depends by your personal CAD software import option. Inside shared variables box, we can change, horn frequency cutoff. Horn throat radius. Or working temperature and humidity. That permits to adapt environment information to fine tune horn parameters. We can also change all control units. For example we can change from millimeters to inches, or meters, or centimeters. Also from Celsius degrees, to Fahrenheit, or Kelvin degrees. The first tab show circular mouth horn with axisymmetric, half-section profile. 
on y axis there is horn radius, on x axis horn length. In elliptic horn tab, on the left side, we can see the half section profile, with minor axis, green line. Blue line is major axis. On the right side, there is the horn mouth. Changing minor axis control, we can modify mouth aspect ratio. Moving cursors among the points, we can obtain aperture angles from throat, upper yellow display, and aperture angle of single segment, lower yellow display. These values are important. For example, to adapt horn with compression driver's exit profiles, or woofer's cone shape. On the third tab, we can see all output values. On the right array, there are the values for each created point. Then we can build graph. After interpolation of mesh, down to z-axis, we obtain 3D project. We can rotate and zoom, 3D view. Then we can select, decimal separator. And save the project, closing Hornella. Now we can open our CAD software, in this case we work with SOLIDWORKS. Inside Hornella database, we select saved folder, in this case we import total 3D points. The CAD software rebuild 3D points cloud with the precision of floating point numbers by 6 fractional format digits. Starting from these points, we can create an extrusion a loft, a sweep, or any function we desire. We can also work with surfaces, to design, our horn. In this case we'll use a simple loft function. Selecting each curve in sequence. And then align all points. Now we can build a throat flange, to fix the loudspeaker driver. We can make mouth flange. Fixing points. Thickness due to material assembly and all mechanical parts, we need to launch a rapid prototype for acoustic test or mounting our horn inside a loudspeaker system project.
Thank you for attention, and thanks to Chieri for use of SolidWorks license.